Milky Milky Ride. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to dive into how to build a breast milk freezer stash, increase supply, and we're also gonna talk about my breastfeeding journey and I'm gonna give you guys um, a couple tips that have worked for me so far and what has helped me. You guys are ready? Then I'm ready and let's hop into the video and per usual, you guys know, got my notes. All right, so from the beginning that I got pregnant, I knew I wanted to breastfeed my baby. Um, it wasn't really a question in my head if, if I was gonna give him formula or breast milk. I already knew right off the bat when I found out I was pregnant and when I literally talked to anybody, I would tell them, oh, I wanna breastfeed my baby. Like, I think breastfeeding is such, kind of like an amazing opportunity. You're able to literally feed and nourish your child with your own body like poof. like what that's so crazy to me like that is so crazy to me all right i forgot to turn on my ring light so if i look brighter it's because i finally turned on my ring light but yeah anyways as i was saying i just think breastfeeding is amazing you're able to give your baby nutrients from your own body so my body is providing what my baby is gonna eat for however long until my supply drops or until I decide that <clears throat> I do not want to breastfeed him anymore. So actually my goal is to breastfeed him until he is one or one and a half. Another cool thing about breastfeeding and breast milk is that it has live probiotics. So I'm going to insert a picture right here just explaining um, all the benefits of breastfeeding and why I personally think it's just amazing. Another awesome thing is that it's free. You don't gotta spend money on no formula. You don't gotta do none of that. You just, all baby nutrients is right here. And everything he needs is right here for the good couple months, obviously until he starts eating solids and all that other good stuff. And disclaimer, because I am not saying that if you formula feed your baby, it is a horrible thing, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, if I had to formula feed my baby because I wasn't producing milk or he needed it, I would give my baby formula. Um, a fed baby is a healthy and happy baby. So I am not saying that formula is bad. Me, personally, I just want to breastfeed. I love breastfeeding and I think it is also, so what about you guys? What do you guys think about breastfeeding? Would you guys breastfeed your baby? Comment down below and let me know. All right, so to start off my breastfeeding journey, when my little boy first came out of my tummy, um, I think it was about an hour past when he started like sucking and rooting, like going and kind of looking for a nipple. Um, so obviously they handed me him. I was wearing a mask. I sanitized, wiped my breast, and honestly, baby boy latched immediately. I know some, some women have trouble with their baby latching, with their baby grabbing onto the nipple, stuff like that, but my baby literally latched immediately. Like, he was great. Um, I nursed the whole time when I was in the hospital, exclusively nursing for two to three days. Um, and in those beginning days, when you after you give birth, your milk is just colostrum. It's the yellow milk before your actual milk. <laughs> and I'm also going to insert a picture of when I used my haka to take out some colostrum. That is what my colostrum looked like at first. So I had colostrum from day one to day four after I gave birth. And then around day five, I finally started getting my milk. And you know this because your milk starts turning whiter and you also start producing a little bit more milk, obviously. So once I got home, when I would latch the baby, I would put my haka on my other breast 
so it can catch any colostrum at first and then milk now um, and it really helps honestly it helps start building your freezer stash because you can get an ounce you can get two ounces you get three ounces obviously once your supply is a lot more up you're going to catch a lot more leakage um, so I'm going to link the haka down below I literally 10 out of 10 recommend a getting yourself a haka so yeah baby's nursing on this side so you grab the haka and then you put it right here on the boob squeeze it and then let it just it'll literally stay it won't fall off obviously it's not sucked on right now but it literally won't fall off and then until you're done nursing your baby you can take off your haka and it will have caught any leaking this has really contributed to helping me build my freezer stash and also just having like a couple extra ounces in case he is still hungry I can easily put it in a bottle and just feed it. Alright so the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is nipple information slash care because this is a big thing obviously your baby is latched onto your nipple nipples are sensitive okay especially because they don't have a baby sucking at them your whole life so once you get that baby sucking at your nipple after giving birth if you decide to breastfeed they're going to be sore they're gonna crack some might even bleed mine did not bleed mine just got really sore and they cracked but i know some women's bleed some have duck like clogged ducts oh yeah some really go through it so a couple things that I want to talk about is so when I first latched Jaciel onto me um, it was hard because it hurt you know my like I said my nipples were sore they were cracked they felt like I had bruises on them and it just hurt to have him latched the first couple of days so what I was using was um, this nipple butter I have two I had the Lansino one and the Earth Mama one I will insert pictures of them here Another thing that really also helped was massaging my breasts and my areola where his mouth was latching on. That just really helps. I don't know, but it just really helps. So massaging that area, you know, like this in circles, really just caring for your breasts. Like treat them like they're your little babies because they're providing milk for your baby, but you really need to care for them in these couple days that you are starting off breastfeeding. Another thing is especially massaging them in the shower. When you're taking a shower, I feel like most of us might take a warm shower. So with the warm water, let it hit your breast and just nicely massage the breast. Um, this will actually help with the milk ducts and it'll help loosen any maybe clots that you may have and stuff like that. You will leak in the shower as you're massaging them, but it's okay. You can actually put your haka on your breast while you're showering. Um, I had a friend tell me that on Instagram. She DM'd me and let me know that you can actually wear these in the shower and no water will get in them and stuff like that, which is a cool tip. To care for my nipples was I was actually pumping a lot more than I was nursing Jaciel. Um, so I can give my tatas a break because it his suck is more powerful, I feel like, than a pump. So they would hurt a lot more than it would hurt to just put my pump on and pump out some milk. So that's another thing that I was doing. So my baby was eating every three-ish hours and I was trying to pump every two hours to have a bottle ready for him. He would eat every, no, he would eat about two to two and a half ounces already at one week old. He is a hungry, 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 hungry hippo. Just kidding. <laughs> No, but really, he is a really hungry baby, and I feel like it's just because boys tend to eat more than girls, maybe, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, he was eating two to two and a half ounces at one week old already, and I was producing that. I just wasn't producing enough milk to start stashing at that time. Yeah, so he's eating two and a half to three ounces at two weeks old, which is crazy to me because, oh my gosh, how much is he going to be eating when he's three four five. and the only reason I know exactly how many ounces he is drinking is because like I said I pump so I 
fill my little pump thing up and it tells me the ounces and I also let him use bottles so that way my boyfriend my mom family members friends whatever they can also feed him and also I wanted him to get used to a bottle I didn't want him only used to a breast so that is another reason why I also pump and put it in bottles which he does amazing at bottles and he does take any type of bottle like I said I know some women aren't as fortunate and their baby only likes a specific type of bottle but my baby literally takes any bottle and he will take both breast and bottle so yeah at the beginning when I first started breastfeeding and when I got discharged from the hospital I would only latch my baby probably one to two times a day and the rest of the day um, I was pumping and giving him bottles just because my nipples were just so sore my boobs were hurting and they literally felt like someone like boom 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 <laughs> like I'm not even kidding like it literally felt like that it was just but you know after a week I want to say after a week and a couple days they started feeling a lot better and they're not as sore so I started latching him a lot more I actually enjoy breastfeeding him I feel like it's a nice like soothing relaxing thing for him he loves it, it and I, it's just a nice I don't know I feel like it's a nice intimate moment because like we get to have our one-on-one -on -one time even though we're together all day but you know it's just a nice moment like between me and baby so yeah I feed him and he just looks at me with his little eyes and, ah, it's just so cute like I said I'm not in as much pain as I was the first couple of days of breastfeeding right now it's just like a ah whenever he latches not even a ah it's just like a whenever he latches but it's literally after that it's not bad at all I feel like my nipples are obviously guy <laughs> but like I was saying it's just like a feeling when he first latches on and then after that it's literally perfect alright so I also want to talk about some breastfeeding holds like how to hold your baby while you're breastfeeding I actually have two favorites and they're both different so for my left boob I like to cradle hold him like this and his head is right here and then for my right boob I actually like to hold him like a football like this and then his head is right here and he latches on this way I'm going to insert a picture of different breastfeeding holes I feel like the the way you hold your baby is literally personal preference and obviously you want to make sure you and your baby are as comfortable as possible while you are nursing him and that's also going to help you feel more comfortable and it's also going to help you not hurt as much another thing is your boobs will get pretty big my boobs are pretty full right now um, I feel like I haven't had these big boobs since high school probably they're bigger they're probably a little bit bigger than they were in high school uh, yeah it's just breast engorgement because now your breasts are full of milk and they have to provide nutrients for your child so they are going to get bigger they're gonna look more plump that is either a pro or a con depending on if you like big boobs or not <laughs> alright so let's hop into how to build a freezer stash Woo! This is my favorite part, honestly, because I've always wanted to build a breast milk freezer stash and it makes me so happy that I already have literally a good amount of frozen breast milk in my freezer. It just, it's like a proud mama moment. I'm going to insert my Instagram story of when I first made my first breast milk freezer bag. <laughs> excited I was so happy overwhelmed with emotions and it was literally my first one but I don't know I love it and I always wanted to like I said have a freezer stash because one I work well not right now I'm on maternity leave but I work and I also wanted my baby to have milk at grandma's house frozen milk at grandma's uh, maybe Tia's house that way in case he is over there or they are watching him they don't have to worry about how he's gonna eat they're gonna have some breast milk and they can thaw it out and feed the baby in order to build a freezer stash i would definitely recommend um pumping every two to three hours so 
the question is, well, how am I supposed to pump and feed baby? Well, sometimes like my baby is napping, so he will miss his three hour feed and he'll eat out of four hours. So at three hours, I will pump and then the next hour, um, I will nurse him or I will give him the bottle that I pumped if I don't need, you know, to put it in the freezer. <laughs> So my little hack that I do is I always make sure there is at least two three ounce bottles in my refrigerator and then any extra milk that I get from using my Hakka or that I get from using my electric breast pump, I will then store that milk in the freezer. So for instance, if let's say my baby gets up from his nap right now and I decide to give him a bottle out of the two that I have in my refrigerator, I will make sure that the next time I pump, that milk is gonna go in my fridge. And then if I have some extra time to pump again, any extra milk that I get is gonna go into my freezer stash. I know it's a little confusing, but that is just how I personally like to do. I'm gonna enter a video of me preparing a breast milk storage bag. All right guys, so here I am going to prepare a breast milk bag to store into my freezer. I'm using the Lansino storage bags. They look like this. So what I like to do is I like to grab a Sharpie and on the bag there is a place for the volume, the date, and a couple more other things. If you see, you can read it right there. Um, so right now I am saving three ounces at a time in each um, storage bag because my baby is currently eating 2.5 to 3 ounces and I like to put my milk after I pump into these medulla, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it, bottles um, and then I just put the little cap on it, it doesn't have a nipple and then I just pour it into the Lansino bag, I make sure all the air is out and I like to lay it flat that way it can freeze flat and saves more space. I to organize them, they are flat and they're not just all bulky. And this is my freezer stash right now. So my Hakka and my electrical breast pump are honestly probably my best friends at the moment. They are what is helping me um, get my freezer stash on and going. Like I said, the Hakka is an awesome trick to use to literally start up your breast milk freezer stash. It's super easy. You can literally wear this while you're driving. You can wear it around the house. Like It's just so easy and it, you literally don't do nothing. It will literally just hang there and suction. It won't fall off as long as you put it on right. So I, like I said, link it down below so you guys can look into it. It literally has like almost five stars. Another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was diet while breastfeeding. So while you're breastfeeding, you really wanna make sure you are getting nice full meals because when you're breastfeeding, your body is burning at least 500 calories every nurse or pump. <sighs> Crazy, right? But yeah, so you wanna make sure you're eating. Um, if you're not eating well, then your supply is obviously gonna plummet and you do not want that. Um, another thing is drinking a lot of fluids, hydrating, drinking a lot of water. That is also gonna help you um, produce milk. Also because when you're breastfeeding, you're losing a lot of fluid, obviously milk. So you need to make sure you are not dehydrated. Another thing that I stand by is eating oats, oats, anything. I'm actually going to insert one of my um, Instagram posts that I put uh, a couple days ago. eating oats and then you can literally put fruit in it I always put chia seeds in my oats I feel like that also helps me produce a little bit more milk because chia seeds are just so good for you I'm gonna insert the benefits of them here too Oatmeal every single morning oats anything like I said oatmeal cookies a granola bar that has oats anything 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 
So yeah, you guys, just make sure you are eating a good balanced diet because like I said, if you don't, then your supply is going to plummet and you do not want that. All right, you guys, so I think that wraps up everything. I hope I answered some of you guys' questions that you have. If you have any, any, any other questions, then please make sure to leave a comment down below or you can DM me on any of my socials. They are also in the description box below. And at the end of the video, I also list my um, social medias. If you really want to breastfeed, I would say definitely do it. It hurts at first, but it takes time and it's so worth it. I personally feel like it's so worth it. Your boobs get used to the tug and it becomes less painful as the days go by. So honestly, it's not gonna hurt forever. It's just a little bit of pain for your baby's happiness, if you put it that way. <laughs> All right, you guys, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. And I will see you guys in my next video.